WordPress is a really powerful content management system that lets you create a blog very easily. It does have a lot of features, but you do need to add a few plugins. Plugins are pieces of program code that can add new functionality to WordPress. In this video, we will see how to find and install new plugins. Some plugins require to be configured after they are installed. We will see how to do that in a later video. If you click on plugins in the left navigation bar, you get to see the list of plugins that come bundled with your installation of WordPress. The plugin menu has three sub items installed plugins, add new, and the editor. If you select installed plugins, you see the list of plugins that are already pre installed. If you want to add a plugin, you need to click on add new. The third option, editor, is something you would not want to explore unless you are a PHP programmer. Right now, let's find and install a few plugins. Some plugins are free and some are paid. Right now, let's install the Yoast SEO plugin. To do that, you need to go to plugins, add new. You will then come to this add plugin screen. To install a plugin, you need to search for it by typing the name of the plugin in the search box. To install a plugin, just click install now. The plugin has been downloaded and unpacked. Now you need to activate the plugin. Now you can see the plugin has been added to your list of plugins. We will now see how to manually install a plugin. Some plugins, mostly the premium ones that you have to pay for, will have to be downloaded and then you will have to upload the zip file to WordPress. Those plugins can be installed only manually. To see how to do that, we will download a plugin from wordpress.org and upload it to WordPress. Let us now go to wordpress.org and search for Jetpack for WordPress. Let us download this now. To upload the plugin from your computer, you need to go to the Add New screen and then you need to choose Upload Plugin. You need to choose the file and then once you have chosen the file, you need to click Install Now. Once the plugin has been installed, you need to activate it. Once you activate any plugin, you will need to configure the settings. We will see how to do that in a later video. In the next video, we will see how to use widgets.